It was billed as a historic day for European democracy, as Jean-Claude Juncker, the chosen one, made his final speech to MEPs before a secret ballot to officially anoint him as president of the commission. This is more or less a historical dimension of this day, to show to the people that they could decide who is leading Europe in the future, and that is, uh, that is really a great step for more democracy on European level. The mood inside the chamber was cordial, with lots of handshakes, even for those not so willing to offer their hand. Mr Juncker made a speech that appealed to right and left, promising to re-industrialise Europe and to get the 25 million unemployed back in work. This was part of what he called a European dream, but a dream that included an understanding of the dynamics of the community. Nous serons des acteurs communautaires. L'Europe ne se construit pas contre les États, ni contre les nations. He also detailed plans for a European digital market and greater energy security, but possibly his biggest pledge, a 300 billion euro injection for growth and investment. Before getting here, Mr Juncker already had the support of the Liberals and Socialists, but his speech had also gone down well with others. Uh, really showed uh, that he understands uh, the true challenges. He understands that something has uh, to change and he also outlined in which direction he would like to go. Uh, he is not only talking about more Europe, but he is talking about uh, democracy uh, versus Troika. But one group um, not giving their support were the Conservatives. It seemed to me to be a typical speech that was trying to appeal to as many people as possible and as many agendas as possible. Um, and that's a bit risky, really. MEPs made their way back to the chamber to hear the result. It was no surprise. Mr Juncker was elected with a majority of 422 votes. Support coming from the European People's Party, Liberals, Socialists and some Greens. But for all those MEPs happy to see the back of Mr Barroso, well, he's not going anywhere until the new commission is elected.